Well, welcome back to the Steve Rob Show. Today, this is the second part of why my truck just all of a sudden stalls sometimes. I'll put a link down below to uh, part one if, uh, if you'd like to take a look at that first. Now, first thing I'd like to say is thank you very much for everybody for contributing to that uh, video with all their uh, ideas of what uh, they thought was the problem. Now, when you're looking at a situation where you don't get no codes, you have to go by, I guess, known faults or pattern failures. And we're rolling with this, guys. <laughs> a friend of mine, uh, he's pretty knowledgeable, and he recommended this. And then, I'm going to show you this in a second. But first of all, I only talk to two people. There's only two people I talk to, and uh, terrific do-it-yourselfers. And uh, it's... Uh, Mostly Mar Mopar, mostly Mopar IH. I was talking to him, and uh, he uh, he gave some good suggestions. And Scanner Danner, and uh, Scanner Danner, uh, he gave some good suggestions too, and he just loved me calling him a do-it-yourselfer. So, uh, okay, so this is what we're going with, guys, and uh, I think this is going to fix it. And I don't know, you guys, let me know what you think, but. I bought it at Rock Auto, and guys, it was the cheapest everywhere, including the shipping and everything. So it's the vapor canister purge valve, and it was $51.79. Okay, are you ready for this? A friend of mine works at Ford with his discount, not even close, including the difference in the dollar and the shipping. I paid like $83. I'll put a link down below. Uh, if you guys want to take a look at it, and if you think this is your problem too. And uh, guys, we're going to roll with it. Now I want to share something that Scanner Danner told me. He said, Steve, them Fords, they're very sensitive. And there's known pattern failures on the Fords from when the fuel changes from summer to winter. Now I never told him all the conditions of you know what happens in this situation. But yeah, they will, uh, apparently, they don't like the fuel change. And th this is one of the symptoms that could happen. But we're going to roll with this. And, well, this is the part right here. It's not a very big part. And I'm going to put that in. And we're going to roll with it. And we're going to see within, I'm going to give it a year. Like, that's a long time, guys. But that's how infrequently this thing will, will happen. I'll give it a year and let you know whether this solves it. But so far... This seems to be the fix. So, we'll see if that happens. And guys, I'll tell you what, uh, reading all the different comments and, uh, you know, I, I have probably the best, I would say, auto techs on YouTube, on my channel. And uh, I appreciate that quite well. And guys, this is the best part about YouTube, sharing information. I can't guarantee that this is going to fix your problem on your F-150, but uh, guys, we got to do something, right? And this is what we do. It's not Swaptronics, but it's a good educated guess. So thanks for joining me today. Subscribe if you like. Come back again. Let's have some more fun. Cheers, guys.